so this is the heat pipe uh, it is made up of copper material as you can see and this is the thermal insulating material which is used to protect the heat pipe from uh, discharging heat to the outer section or, or to provide uh, to prevent the heat loss so these are the three sections of heat pipe the first is the condenser section the second uh, is the adiabatic section and the third is the heater section so let's start one by one so this is the section known as the heater section uh, you can attach the electrical heater to it uh, we have used a band heater uh, in this heat pipe project so in this section the heat is added to the heat pipe and it is supplied to the other section of the heat pipe so when the heat is added to this section the working fluid uh, absorbs the heat and the heat is transferred through this section and transferred in case transferred to the condenser section and we have used the uh, uh, fins at the condenser section you can see these are the fins copper fins uh, it is non movable and it's cheap so i've used this fins uh, at the condenser end and the central portion as you can see it's completely insulated to prevent the heat loss uh, the feature of this uh, adiabatic section is that the temperature across this section remains constant uh, you can attach the thermocouple at this uh, points three points and you can check the temperature after running this project that you will find that the temperature is constant in this section that means the uh, heat loss is minimum or you can say it's zero that's why the heat pipe is also known as the superconductor so uh, according to the principle of heat pipe heat is added from one section and it is transferred from one section to other section and without any heat loss uh, it achieves the heat transfer so the thermal resistance of the heat pipe is very low uh, because of these factors uh, as i've used the copper heat pipe as you know all know that the thermal conductivity of copper is uh, much more than the steel or aluminium that's why we can use uh, copper to increase the performance the heat or performance of the heat pipe so second thing i've used the nano fluid uh, uh, as a uh, working fluid i've mixed nano fluid uh, with the water and i've checked the performance of the heat pipe and i, I found that the performance of the heat pipe increased by 5 to 10 percent so uh, how can we insert the working fluid into this heat pipe so as you can see i've made some uh, fabrication process in this uh, i've attached the wall to this pipe so you, you can insert the working fluid from uh, this from this section and you can close this wall and after tilting this pipe uh, and when the working fluid reaches at the heater section you can just turn on the heater and when you turn on the heater after 10 to 15 minutes uh, reaching the stable section uh, stable temperature you will found that you will found that the temperature across the adiabatic section remains temp uh, remains the same or you can see that t2 t3 and t4 will remain this uh, remain the same and that means you uh, achieved the uh, stable uh, stable position of the heat pipe so uh, these are some of factors uh, which affects the heat pipe what are the other factors which affect the heat pipe so uh, if you uh, open this wall and keep it open for several minutes then you'll find that the air will go inside and after you close it then you'll see that the performance will change and the T2, T3 and T4 uh, or the temperature of uh, T2 or T3 and T4 position will not be the same and you'll find the decrease in the performance or you supply less heat or more heat to this evaporator section then the performance will get affected. Now another factor is the uh, insulating material. If you keep this insulating material open, you'll find that the heat will uh, get lost from this section of heat pipe. So, this uh, some of the precautions you be taking while uh, taking experiments or performing the application.
that you should completely in, uh, isolate this heat pipe section to uh, increase the performance or to reduce the thermal resistance of the heat pipe so this is the overall view of the uh, heat pipe and according to my opinion you should always use the copper heat pipe because the copper has the maximum thermal conductivity and you can also use uh, different working fluids and try different working fluids and check the performance of the heat pipe and uh, select the appropriate working fluid to uh, uh, suit for your application so that's it from my side if you like this video please like comment and share and subscribe to my channel let's learn